Okay guys, I just got done weatherproofing my my top half of my bolt here. This piece right here took the longest to do. This one took me about three hours to do. Just just because of the uh, the cuts that I had to do here, I had to only take off about a quarter inch to an eighth inch at a time. I didn't want a huge gap around the edges. And I finally, after about three hours, yeah, three hours, I finally got it done. And uh, now I just uh, went ahead and I put some uh, uh, carpet glue on. This is what I didn't use the first time. I got a couple bubbles in my carpet. So this time I went out, got the indoor-outdoor carpet adhesive. I just got done laying it on here. Now I got a... I'm gonna put. I laid the. I'm gonna lay the carpet down. Okay. Okay. And I'll go around my hand. I put a pretty generous amount of uh, carpet glue on here, just so you know I don't have any ripples in here when I'm done it's better to have the it's better to put more adhesive on than less just so you can get all all these bubbles I really really wish I would have had this the first time because I bought the wrong glue the first time around and I have bubbles everywhere in this thing but there got this all set up uh, I'm going to go take uh, some of that uh, OSB over there. I'm going to put it on top of here with some weights just to make sure it's on there. Uh, so in that, I'm going wa to waterproof this hatch that I got here. Uh, I got a cut out for my tub. And what I'm going to do, because I'm going to be buying a, a bow mounted trolling motor, I am going to be doing a, a indent in here in my hatch. It's going to be probably about 12 by 12 in here, and it's going to sink down. I want to go about 2 inches down. That way, I can put my pedal in here, and it's not raised above, and it's going to feel awkward. I, I know a guy that's got it like that, and it's so awkward to use, in my personal opinion anyways. So I'm going to lower that, and it's going to be in the hatch. So then, it doubles as my little hatch in here for all my life jackets and all that stuff so I'm gonna go ahead put my uh, that piece of OSB on here and some weights make sure everything is nice and flat it, I think the setup time is about maybe 15-20 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put some staples down and I'll pull her tight and make her all look nice okay guys I finally got this all carpeted and everything's all good it turned out actually pretty nice and I had the hatch done cut perfect I had the piano hinges on and everything I put it on the boat for a test fit and I realized something I was missing one important thing on there and it was a trolling motor I needed a ball mounted trolling motor so guess what I got one it's the Motor Guide X3. It's a really nice trolling motor here. It's a 55 pound thrust on this big guy. So this should easily push me along the water. Nice and easy. Uh, pretty nice trolling motor I'd have to say. The only thing was next for me was I've had a couple I've been on a couple of boats where I've used uh, used these foot pedals, and for me, it's very awkward to use when you're standing on a flat surface. So I needed to make a recessed uh, tray for this thing to go in, which sucked because, as you guys know, I finished this hatch already. So what I ended up doing was. Uh, taking the hatch off, ripping off all the carpet on there that I glued on, 
which that stock is taking off. And I framed up a box, which is right here. I framed up a little box that I could put the, that, that's, uh, that the foot pedal would sit in. I took uh, uh, two, two, uh, two by twos, not even really. I took two stakes and I cut them. So I'd, uh, I'd have, because the two by four was going to be too uh, wide. And I, I could have ripped the two by four down, but I had some scrap pieces of wood laying around here. So I just ended up uh, just doing that. Put uh, 5 eighths uh, plywood on the back, painted it all up. Looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good so far. Uh, and I'm carpeting this right now. Uh, and I just want to show you guys a trick that I learned how to carpet uh, these inside corners like this because you're not going to get a perfect uh, you know perfect spot in here I don't know if you can see well I got uh, I'm going to take that out there's a when you cut this there's going to be a spot in here a big triangle that's going to be missing just to do this so what I did was you just cut out a nice piece of triangle, piece of leftover carpet. I have a bunch of leftover carpet. You go ahead and you fit that right behind these pieces. A carpet. You stuff that in there nice. And you can fold this down like so. And you can easily uh, staple it in. It actually works out pretty nice. I did all these. You can obviously tell where the carpet and this meets, but it's a lot better than just having that painted stuff on. I figured I'd give you guys that tip for now. But this, but I got, uh, there's actually, I have, I have to cut this out yet, but I have a hole. Actually, actually, so I didn't have to stop. I, uh, I cut a hole in here because my, I framed this up wrong because I already made my hatch and obviously I already had that carpeted so I couldn't make it bigger. So I had to cut a little hole right in here. So then when my trolling motor fits in there, this front piece and these wires can slide in a little ways and go in there. But I'm going to finish this up, get the piano hinges on and get everything mounted on here. and. Uh, when I see you guys next, it should be all uh, put on the boat and looking good.